Welcome. In this course, we're going to look at app development. So we're going to use some software that's going to help us make an app that's ready for the Apple Store or ready for the Android Store or even an application that can be used on a Mac system or a Windows machine. Um, system. The software that we're going to be using is called Godot, um, which is actually um, a game engine, but it can also be used as an app development engine as well and uh, to create any kind of app, which is great. We are just going to be creating a very simple application in this one, and then we'll move on to game development in the next course. But this will give you the grounding that you need to really build great things and understand how the platform works. So when you're dealing with these kind of projects, you have to look at setting up. So you have to look at planning, setting up, and making sure all the fundamental elements are in place before you go to the platform. If you don't, this can cause many problems. So in this one, we're just going to look at how to set up your app development folders, setting up PowerPoint so you can actually mock up an app. Um, we're going to set up the screen size inside of PowerPoint, and then we're going to look at asset management and creating of assets inside of PowerPoint. After that, we're going to create four scenes, um, all done with inside PowerPoint. And then we're going to look at grouping assets inside PowerPoint and then finally exporting all of our assets out ready to use in Godot. So let's move on. Let's look at the first part of that, which is making sure that we have our folder structure set up. Now, you guys should have a folder called computing inside of your documents. So if you head on over to your documents area, and then you click on your computing, um, I'd like you to create a new folder. The folder that I'd like you to create inside of this computing folder is called um, app building project. Once you, so you can pause the video and just do that now. Um, once you've got the app building project folder set up, and then I'd like you to go inside of this, and there's three things that we're going to start with. The first one is actually this one here called raw images. These are all the images that you pull in from the internet um, before you put them into PowerPoint. Now, this isn't always necessary because you can build your images inside of PowerPoint without dragging them here first, but sometimes it's quite handy to have the images as a reference. So I'll let you, I'll let you make up your mind if you want to do that or not. So this is going to be our raw images um, folder. So make sure you have that one. And then the next one is going to be our app images. The app images are the ones that we're going to export at the end ready for Godot. And then we're going to have um, a PowerPoint that has all of our planning in it. So let's head on over to PowerPoint and let's set up PowerPoint ready to go for this. So the application we're going to be making is going to be a um, portrait, or is it landscape, um, iPad app. So if we click on the blank presentation screen, um, this is obviously going to be, oh, you saw, you saw what I'm building already, but never mind. This is going to be too big for what we need so we have to set up the size so if we click on the design button here and then head on over to where it says um, slide size and click on this custom one now PowerPoint does everything in centimeters that being said you can convert to pixels very very easy and it's pixels that we're going to need for this one so if we look at the width of this and we delete everything in this column here including the CM and the width for the iPad app that we're going to be creating is going to be 1024 pixels. So we type in 1024 px. Once we've done that, when we click off of this, it will convert it to centimeters, which is absolutely fine. We have no worries about that at all. So click off of it or click into this screen and now it's 27. But that one there, that width is going to be 1024 pixels. Now the height for our app is going to be 768 so 768 pixels now if you were developing for the iPhone or something else you would need to find out what the pixels of that particular screen are and then put them in here so if we click off of that it does the conversion for us and then we press OK it will ask us whether we want to maximize or um, ensure fit and at this point it actually doesn't matter so I'm just going to click on the maximize and it's going to give us our a screen that is ready to go for the for the iPad. So now we've set up that we now need to start looking at creating our app. So I can close this. If at this point if I was you guys I would save it. I've already done this. Save it, browse on over to your new folder. So mine is called I've put mine on the desktop and it's called app building project and then I'd give it the name 
app planning and just save it here so it's with everything else okay so I'm just going to cancel but you guys need to press save and I'm going to close that window uh, I don't need to save that now this is what I've built so far so I've gone ahead of time and I've and I've built all this stuff so if I come back over to my raw images folder online I went through and I got all of these images that I needed so I needed a home icon I needed some houses and I needed some some backgrounds of all descriptions so what I'm going to suggest to you, the kind of app that you're going to build is, is completely up to you. I've gone for an app that is um, the lifestyles of the rich and famous. And it's just going to be four pages. Um, four pages is all you need to complete this project. Four pages is all you need to complete this project, but you can do more if you want to. So mine is the lifestyle of the rich and famous. Um, you can do some kind of storybook if you want, or you can do a picture app, or you can do whatever you want. As long as it's got four pages, I'm happy enough. If you want to do more than four pages, that's completely up to you, but I'm just going to stick with the four pages. <laughs> now, if we go back over to my images, very simply, as I, as I needed these, I just clicked, and I dragged, and I imported them, and I, I sized them out. So I don't need to show you any more on that. Now each of these pages, so the first page is just a home page, and each of these pages has this navigation, okay? So I have a home button that's gonna be a button eventually, or a houses button that's gonna be a button eventually once we get to the app. I have holidays button, and then I have this cars button. I also have this home icon that will bring me back to this page. Um, when I click on the house one, so I'll click on this button here, it'll take me to this page. And then I've got all these lovely houses, and you can make this as many as you want. I'm just going to stick with free, but you can have kind of a slide preview if you want, or, or whatever. Um, keep it simple um, for this particular project, because we are trying to get used to how things work. I haven't built out my, I haven't built out my picture yet, but that's very deliberate because I want to show you how to export all this. And we can also have videos as well. So on this page, I'm going to have some writing here, some more pictures, and I'm also going to have a video as well. So I'll show you how to do that. So your mission now is to create all of these pages, make them look as pretty as possible, um, ready to start getting our assets ready for the next part. So pause the video and go and do that. <laughs> 